we begin to ask, what do the uh, president's children, what do they do for a living? I mean, by the time I was their age, you know, I don't know specifically how old they are, but by, from looking at them, by the time I, I was their age, I was doing something concrete. Shay Tinubu has come under hot water for accompanying his father to an official meeting at Qatar. But is it true that he does nothing concrete? Let's talk us through the trends really shaping I mean, space. one of the most popular trends that you can kind of see in the market space right now is the globalization of campaigns. So you look at the likes of Coca-Cola, their campaigns are aligned with a global strategy. He is the CEO and MD of Lotsad Promo Media, which is a digital and outdoor advertising company. And you would have seen their LED screen advertising in Lekki, Ikoyi, and from the third mainland bridge but recently also he has gone into the foray of real estate and warehousing from companies that you can find here at alara city including sterium uh, Bua group who will be doing detergent manufacturing we have hmd africa heavy machinery dealerships we have sana industries one of the leading industrial construction companies doing construction uh, material production here we have lotsad multimedia that will be doing storage facilities here. Yes, Lotsad Promo Media is in Nalara City and they probably want to start a warehousing business. I don't know how that would work because this is a digital advertising company. But they have land there. They are also a free zone enterprise company. They are going into the foray. They are positioning in the free zone for the future of Lagos, which is Ekbe. My life. I was not, uh, I got a PhD at 24. Yes. I wasn't depending on any father. Absolutely not. So people must get to a stage in their lives where they hold themselves together. I don't want adults behaving like invalids, hanging around. Just because your father is in a position, all his children are privileged sometimes, overdo it. Yeah. And these are boys that will probably have wives at home. Some of these girls, what they go through is very embarrassing. Say what you want to say about him, whether you agree with harsh judgment about how he does business, the monopoly, and also the very, very heavy criticisms concerning Lekki Tollgate, proceeds from Lekki Tollgate. But the decision to position Alara City is, I believe, a smart one. Alara City for us is ideal with the development of the states and also such partnerships with likes of Alara is also doing this particular area. It is the future. Um, this area is becoming and will be as well an industrial hub um, and obviously evolve cities as well. And for us, we found it to be one of the ideal places to plug in and also be ahead. Um, to also give us that little um, that we like the lot of. And these are some of the reasons why I think he is doing that. It's situated in the Lekki Free Zone amongst great neighbors. The Lekki Deep Seaport, the Deep Seaport in West Africa, the Dangote Refinery, and the newly approved International Airport, which are all in very close proximity to Alara City. It's also situated on the newly built six lane concrete Lekki Airport Expressway, which obviously is a very key route for distribution across the country. At Alara City, we have a philosophy of delivering tomorrow today. It, at the heart of that philosophy is providing our clients with the opportunity to access the things that s world will not have been able to access. Within a world-class planned city with world-class infrastructure, a secure, predictable investment environment, they are able to access things and achieve business milestones that the s world will not have been able to achieve. At Alara City, we believe in creating a plug-and-play environment in which companies, organizations can thrive. And that probably explains why in less than three and a half years in which we have been in existence, we have been able to attract 450 plus customers, ranging from industrial, commercial and residential clients across the spectrum. Alara City is in itself a major investment and is a major critical player in the success of the free zone and even beyond. So there you have it, Sheyi Tinubu, the son of President Bolamed Tinubu and his investment in Alara City Ekbe. And let's do it this way. Do you agree? Are you comfortable with it? You can't have a, 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 a husband that's just hanging around. Wow. That cannot stand on his two feet as men. If you want to plug in, like he uses the word plug into it, 
contact me to get you started on owning your own property in Alara City. Thank you very much for watching. Kindly like, kindly share, kindly subscribe. See you at the next video. Bye-bye.